Hi, I'm Sam with JBugs.com. Uh, now that we've got a new carburetor installed, we're going to go back and double check the timing on our 009 centrifugal advanced distributor. Personally, not a big fan. Uh, this distributor was originally made by Volkswagen as an uh, industrial distributor. This distributor is either on or it's off. Again, not the best thing for driving where you want a smooth advance, which is what you get out of a vacuum advance or a, a single vacuum dual advance where it's actually running a centrifugal advance like the 009, but it's also running a vacuum advance. So you get that smooth advance curve pulled off the vacuum of the carburetor. Uh, we've got our timing light set up with power and ground, and it's a, getting a signal from the number one spark plug. We're going to go through and because we're not running a degree pulley, we're gonna be looking for timing marks on this stock style pulley. And, ah, we got a little fan shroud rub. That's that high, I heard a high pitch sound earlier. We've got our timing marks, which are here and here and here. So this has actually got three marks. Now, seeing as I don't know anything about this pulley, uh, what these timing marks are at, Fortunately, my timing light actually has an advanced feature so I can go through and figure out what those marks are, but I like using a digital advance timing light because I can go through and just set my max advance, and as long as I know where top dead center is, I know I'm getting my max advance. We have zero degrees initial timing. A nice mark to hopefully illustrate this much more clearly while we're running. Here, with the engine revving to advance the distributor timing, I'm advancing my timing light until the top dead center marks line up. This will let me know how much total advance we're getting from the distributor. So we're getting 25 degrees out of this distributor, but our initial timing is literally set at zero. Um, so on a air-cooled engine with you know, regardless of uh, which distributor, uh, what fuel or otherwise, you can typically get away with about 31 to 33 degrees of full advance. So I just normally will set my timing at about 32 degrees, 33, 31, 32, 33, fully advanced. So what I'll do is actually I'm going to loosen the distributor clamp, rev this thing up, I'm going to set my timing light advanced to 32 degrees, and then I'm going to rotate the distributor until that timing mark shows up at 32 degrees. And that will be fully advanced to where this thing should perform a lot better. Uh, at which point we're probably going to have to go back and readjust the carburetor, but I'm going to do that right now. I'll set the initial timing at 7 degrees, so when the distributor advances 25 degrees more, we should get to the 32 degrees of total advance. When I rev out the engine and check the timing, 
I can see that we're a couple of degrees off. So, I go back and set the initial time to get 9 degrees, and then rev the engine up again to check the advanced timing. Now, it's right on the mark at 32 degrees. I check the idle speed as it has increased because of the advanced timing. And I adjust it back to about 900 RPM by turning the large bypass screw on the side of the carburetor. To end, I'll double check the advanced timing, which is still at 32 degrees. And that seems much better. We, the engine seems a lot more responsive now that we've got actual proper timing set in this engine. Um, it turned out that to be static timed uh, at about nine degrees with this distributor, uh, and then it advanced out to 32 degrees. So we're gonna take this thing for a test spin and see how she feels now. It's not a rocket ship by any means, but it feels much, much better. Shift points on the speedometer as far as the mile per hour seems to match up really well. I'm pretty happy with it. For being a 009, she's actually really, really responsive. I can't complain one bit. Not much hesitation at all. Not bad. For a 009, this carburetor seems to have just the right amount of advance out of it. The distributor, now that we've got it timed properly, it just seems smooth as can be. And that's third indicator, we'll ship to fourth. I like it. I really like it. For a 009 even, and I'm not a big fan of 009. This thing drives very, very well. That's a wrap. 
Um, in reality, this thing's ready to go. Um, but again, as I mentioned, despite how really, really well this car runs right now, even with um, a 34 pick three carburetor and a, you know, a non-vacuum advanced distributor, I, I'm, I'm, I'm aghast at how well and how smooth this thing runs currently. But just the same, uh, it's still running a standard points and condenser ignition, uh, and it doesn't have a vacuum. And we're gonna swap this out in our next video. We'll show you how to swap out from a 009 to a centrifugal advanced distributor.